Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to what should be the final part of an epic journey. Yes, that's right. I do believe we're on the last episode of Shadowrun Returns here. Oh, sod it. Even if it does take too long, I'll just make it an extra large episode. So, we are assaulting the Universal Brotherhood. We've been killing bugs left, right and centre. But there are going to be a lot more missenses. So, let's... Muster the troops, get them ready to storm around this corner and kill whatever may come. Good idea, probably to reload Coyote's shotgun. We have our nameless Turn Tangier Special Forces MOOC, which they just gave me, and he can't aim for shit. And uh, we have me. Right, Dominus, forwards. 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 We've gone the wrong way, haven't we? Oh, not the most auspicious of starts, but. Come along. Everybody back out. We got the wrong one. Come on, folks. Let's get this shit over with. We still need to do Dragonfall and then Hong Kong. My oh, God. I don't get paid by the hour. Don't get bloody well paid at all. I actually tell a lie, I check my YouTube statistics, I think I've made about 43p. Which is, you know, just underneath like 80 cents. Hardly a king's ransom, but, uh, we'll be alright. One does have cocaine bills. Mr. Terminus, forwards if you please. What? Then does that mean- where did- Where are we meant to go? Everybody split up, find where the hell in this shithole we're supposed to go. And then we can all go through it. We couldn't have been right the first time, could we? This was a complete and utter dead end. Oh, for fuck's sake. I've gone the wrong way and it's a loading screen. Excellent way to start a fucking episode. This has been like three and a half minutes of me just sitting around with my dick in my hands. Come on, people. Get through that fucking door. Off you go. Harley. Off you go. And last but ne least, ne least, myself. Off I fuck. Right. That only took four centuries. Into the depths. The cold utilitarian facilities of the Brotherhood's private areas break away and degenerate into a sprawling subterranean tunnels. Tunnels that were not crafted by the hands of man. The air is foul with the smell of decaying flesh and something else. A rank, stinging, acid bite that hits nostrils and eyes hard. Wet, squirming noises echo throughout the tunnels, punctuated by low moans and the occasional gasp. For what, you can't tell. One thing that you can tell, though, it just works. You shoulder your launcher and keep going. Right. Buggy buggy killy killy down. We continue on, down into the belly of the beast. Perhaps you should construct an epic poem of our adventure here. It would not be the first written about me, to be sure. I shall consider it. Consider it. Now, onward. You hear him muttering rhymes to himself as he walks. Right, folks. 
Vorwitz unto glory. Still doing all right for health. I sense that there's going to be a bug jumping out of here. Oh, is it? Yeah, there's a. You can see the fog of war slowly give away to. Bingo! Hello! Hello, how are you all doing? Um, have I introduced you to the Church of the Fury of Mr. Tumnus? Dumnus! Fuck up his day. Harley. Please, also. Fuck up his day. Right, that's that done. We'll just all gather round him for... Oh, penis! Right, you've just walked face first into Coyote. Or as I like to call her, Shotgun Tits. Oh fuck. Not that. Um Use a fucking cult. Do we have any sort of magical devastating spells we can launch? Fuck it, perfect, I did it. Oh fuck, not another one. Oh, Calm your tits, Missy. Alright, me myself, I shall shoot you. Okay, we are... Shit. Two... Right, we don't have enough firepower to kill this last one, do we? Well, I mean not enough Aegis formula left in the pipe for this chat, but he can into them. If he had remembered to reload his fucking gun. Coyote! You have to get great honour of finishing this fucker. Alright. I hit him from over there. Yet I can't hit them from anywhere else. If you get me right next to them, I will miss the fucking things. How does this work? Good work, Carly. Tumnus, just start blasting away. Oh, you fucker. Oh, sorry, Harley. Reload. Just... You're proving to be tricky, my young friend. And reload. Bingo! Coyote, you also reload. Right, that's them... Um, dealt with here. Oh, please don't tell me there's going to be more bursting out walls. At least when I can plan for them, I know somewhat what I can do. And of all the ones that I spotted, I thought he was going to appear out of here, but no, he came about three or four other directions. The right side, there's a little place there we can fit Tumnus through, and... He can wreak drony mischief and mayhem upon the enemy's lines. 
Dumbness. Prove that. There's... That was just a completely useless thing for us to do, wasn't it? Oh, no, wait. I just couldn't see shit. Uh, swordsman, mage, gunner. Okay. At least a human. Humans I can kill. I can kill no problem. Humans shall die. Mr. Mook, get forwards. We'll just wait for them to pop across. No, Mr. Tumnus. You do not touch my drone. Harley. Cut her to fucking shreds. God's sakes, Harley. You've left her with like one HP. That's no good to anybody. Alright, floaty, floaty, killy, killy, fun time, die. There we go. Alright, nameless mook. Why did I bring you along? Oh yeah, because Telestra is like, this is one of my elite special forces. He's about as useless as my grandmother eating toffees. Oh well, at least he seems to absorb a lot of fire. Go over there. Bugger. Harley. Slicey dice, will you, my good man? Thank you. Excellent. Mook, reload. I feel like a fussy mother. Has everybody, like, packed for sandwiches? Has everybody put bullets in their guns? Come on, kids, we're going to a fucking park. Oh, Tumnus, Daddy's sorry he makes you absorb all that. Where's it coming from? I don't like the look of that. Well, fortunately, it's dead now. Okay, I'll go back here. Harley, you do the same. Mr. Mook, maintain position. There's no doubt we'll get another one coming around the corner. At any second. God damn it. Okay, Harley. That's another bug down. And reload. Me not to forget to reload my magic shotgun. Harley, you move here. Coyote, you take left. Mook, you take the middle. Tumnus, you take the right. See what you find, motherfucker. Oh, shit, the bed. Alright, we concentrate on the one on the right. If we can bring enough firepower to bear on it. Fuck. 
Coyote. Shotgun. Don't miss your bloody fool. Excellent. Okay, I move up here. Harlequin, you give this bugger one last stab with your sword to polish him off. Nameless Mook, you also move down here so you can kill him off with your ages. <coughs> ah, excellent. There's... Victim number three for us. Okay. Spirit on the left is Tetchy at the moment. He's only taken one shot. Which means there's nothing we can do for him. Mook, finish off this one. No, there's no way we can kill him with anything right now, so best to reload. Terminus reposition over here. Mook reposition over here. Coyote, finish this guy off. Oh, you absolute turd, Blossom. Okay, well, shit. Um, coyote, kill him. Harlequin, move here. Patch up Coyote's latest... Damage. Thomas. Move over here. Get rid of the bombardier. For fuck's sake, man. Okay, awesome. Awesome. So, we now have two of them. Slap bang in the middle, causing trouble for us. We have enough firepower to kill all of them if every shot connects okay so that's two connected three connected four connected five connected no Reload. You fucking dumb bug. Kill him again. Once more. Onto the breach. One. Reload. Three enemy down. Reload. These guys aren't so much as difficult to kill, more along the lines of if you manage it right, you can get rid of them with very little damage. The problem is, they are just such a pain in the fucking arse. Okay, so we get over here, over this bridge. How much more of these bugs can there be? Oh look, there's like a fucking clutch of eggs down there. Pieces of shit. Uh, this isn't going to be right. Uh, 
It's not really clutches of eggs, it looks more like... No way, they're clutches of eggs rather than decomposing body parts. Very strict difference. This bit looks... Uh humans. We can kill humans. Move out. Back down here. And me up here. Harlequin go forth. Okay, so we have medical equipment down here. Something to raid before the whole games kick off. Get off my fucking drone. This is what happens when you touch the drone. Now Harlequin is going to show you how to use a sword. Isn't that fun, kids? Oh! Look, your head's fallen off. Alright, what do we have? Swap it with the drugs. We'll have the grenade instead. I will get up and use... Oh, uh, we've only got the drone repair kit. But we will use that. Who has spare room in their inventory? Mr. Tumnus, you've not even got an inventory technically. Right, what else do we have? Dock Wagon Gold Trauma Kit. We'll take that. We'll take the Mega Meda Kit. Hack the safe slot. What do we have in the safe? A platinum trauma kit. We will take the platinum trauma kit. And we've just unlocked the door. Which I sense is the door to something fucking hideous. So once again, kids, I ask you to keep all weapons loaded, all arms and legs inside the vehicle, until this fucking ride is over. And we also save the pissing game. Right. Let's do this shit. Oh. This is exiting the character from the scene. I just thought this was like the end of the end here. Sort of boss territory. The Bug Shaman. A rhythmic thrumming punctuates the air passing through you, vibrating your lungs and your chest and making it hard to breathe. It's an electricity that makes the hair on your skin stand up in protest. Ahead you hear the sounds of chanting, accented by the moist wriggling of lava. There are low rumbles too, stone on stone, the sense of imminence is everywhere. Something is coming and it has to be stopped. Yep, I'm sensing boss fight. Okay... Mr. Lestrian, Mrs. Watts, we're here to fuck up your day. Jessica, Jessica appears to be in a throes of violent trance or mild seizure, a manic state brought on by the terrible energies she is attempting to conduct. Mag, stop. The Queen approaches. The vessel, the summoning. 
We cannot be disturbed. Your vessel's gone. This is over. Jessica's eyes roll in the back of her head. Whatever magic she is channeling is fast approaching a crescendo. Lynn speaks in a place. You may have taken Mary Louise, our chosen, but another Telestrian will take her place. I give myself willingly. I will be host to our queen and the mother of a new world. You've seen what these things do, Lynn. This queen will devour you, body and soul. Harlequin makes an exaggerated grimace. And then crap out a few billion young. Blech. No, I will become a perfect being. Through me and through my sacrifices, a new age will begin. When Jessica speaks next, her eyes have a disturbing sharpness. Her words are echoed by Lynn in a manner that suggests a connection between the shared zealotry. The hive has no thought beyond hunger, no goal beyond reproduction. We are one. Sam had a hunger too, didn't he, Jessica? This seems to throw her off. What? You said it yourself, Sam had appetites. All that mattered to him was his next fix. Vile appetites. Appetites he couldn't control and he died for them. Because I willed it. Yes, but why? There was more to it than just your mother. The hum of magical energy permeates the room, seems to quiet. She's listening. You came under the thrall of these creatures long before you knew of your mother's death. The Brotherhood, they were family to me. Yes, and they had already freed you from your old life, so why come back? Why kill Sam? I had to, for what he did, what he had become. You said Sam represented a sickness in the world, but I think he represented a sickness in you. You're trying to confuse me. You saw a wrongness in yourself and you projected it onto Sam. No, he... He was your brother, Jessica, your twin, don't you see? She bows her head. I'm sorry. But there's no turning back. I cannot undo what's been done. And I cannot stop what's to come. Jessica's body suddenly spasms, arching her back and ne nearly lifting her off her feet. She lets loose a scream, falling somewhere between elation and agony. The Queen is near! Oh fuck! No 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 Okay, I suggest we shoot these things called insect pillars. Mr. Tamnus, if you please, do be a darling. Just... It's immune. Shoot Jessica. In that case, we'll use the bug killing spray. It's immune as well. Harley, chop up the girl. Okay, this isn't going well. Could it be we can only damage these ones here with the shiny, shiny lights? Well, we would know if anybody could hit anything. She's drawing power from that thing. Oh, flange. Okay, chaps. Coyote, could you shoot that pillar, please? Just shoot the pillar, girl. How do you miss? Hey, we got it. We hit the fucking pillar. It was a task much more difficult than any of us could have anticipated. Now, slashy. 
Slashy, 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 slashy. Kill them all. Mr. Terminus got shot. Okay, it's still immune while... Christ. Okay, everybody, boys and girls. Insect spirit, bye-bye time. Mm, nameless moot. If you please. Fuck. Okay. Harlequin, reload. And hit her with your fucking sword. Coyote. Shotgun to her face, please, love. Good work, lady. Alright, Tumnus. Get through here. Try and find me this next pillar. Bingo. Boom. Fuck. Okay, those things are pretty goddamn nasty when, uh... Alright, note to self, don't piss off the bombardiers. Harley, patch yourself up. This ain't gonna be good. Uh, run over here. I myself shall run behind cover over here. Nameless Mook, you make a beeline straight past Lynn. We need that fucking thing dead. Uh, we need it dead yesterday. So, Coyote, squeeze off another shot at it. Reload. Fucking Nora. Fucking, fucking Nora, Jesus. <sighs> okay. We don't have enough mana to get whatever the hell that thing is back. I mean, heal ourselves. So we can just Tumnus shoot. Fantastic. Alright, that's another bug down. So we move around the corner. With Nameless Mook. You can also have a good bit of corner, my friend. And pop a shot off at Jessica. <laughs> Boom. And Coyote move up. Do some damage with Daruga. Uh, 
Okay, so we can kill this one down here. If we actually hit it. Good work. Oh dear. God, there's more of them. Oh fuck it, these things are all distractions anyway, so... Boom. Harlequin, slash up Jessica some more. Excellent. Not good. Not good at all. Uh, Mr. Terminus. Wreck him. Really not good. Oh, thank God, he's attacking my mook. Tumnus. Shoot that pile of squishy, disgusting shite. We just keep on killing the pile of squishy, disgusting shite, and hopefully it will lead to them dying. I didn't mean to press that button again. Nor that one. Um, okay, nameless mook. Boom! Enjoy that, you prick. Right, that's the bombardier dealt with. There are starting to be far too many of these bugs to handle. Somebody help. Help. Uh, Harley, kill that thing with your fucking sword. And also hit Jessica again with your sword. And just shoot her in general. Okay. We run around the side here. And then we shoot her from over balls. Can't actually hit her, can we? That I didn't click that. Fucking ass. Go down there. Just don't hit Harlequin. Right, so we have the big beefy angry bastard, we have a bombardier. Wants to kill us. If we move over here, oh, not another one. There can't possibly be any more of these fucking things. I mean, seriously. I'm having enough trouble killing four of them. 
I'm guessing if we don't concentrate on them and just keep on piling the old pot shots onto here. Like, one more should do it. One final strike of the older. Uh, you just go on full auto. Good work. Nope. Sorry, Jess, Jess. If I kill the mook, I'm not too fucking bothered. Ow, but he does shoot me. Or Mr. Tumnus, that's when I start getting bothered. Oh, hello. Oh, Fuck. Uh, throw a grenade at her? You have ruined everything! Oh no! Alright, so we've now just fucked up Verde. So, um... Yeah, good work, chaps. So all we need to do now is kill off the last of these evil insect spirits and we should be go go fun times shit seriously chaps fuck me This isn't the best of anything, I can assure you. Let us regroup up north. Where we may slowly start to take out a couple of these fuckers. Ooh, lordy, 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 heal me. Now, slash that thing into ribbons. For fuck. Boom. Dead. Thank you. Coyote, move up. See if you can do anything about this fucking thing. Nope. Reload. Okay, we've got a bombardier after us. He didn't fire. Excellent. That's not good. Reload. Boom! Enemy down. Now, Mr. Tumnus, kill the bombardier. And Coyote, start hitting Mr. Venom.
I hate it when they lower your AP. I have low enough AP at minute as I stand. Thank you very fucking much. Boom, another one down. Okay, you go here. Right then, Dumbness. Finish him off. So he may join the Dead Bug Fan Club. We reload. We send Harley down here as well. And he can reload. Nameless Mook. Guess what you're doing? You're coming down here and you're reloading. Fuck it, we're just all dogpile, no more fancy shit. Kill one, take the damage from the surviving one. And then hopefully by start of next turn, we can kill this fucker. One. Two. Three. Reload. Three. Four. Enemy down. Reload. Mr. Tumnus. Ruin his fucking day. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. One. Two. Miss. Three. Four. Reload. Boom. Bye bye, buggy. We're done. At fucking last. For once beautiful Jessica Watts is a hollow shell of her former self. Her skin is pale, her lips are ashen and her eyes are sunken in her skull. It is more than her body's reaction to the physical damage she sustained or the strain of channeling magic power from another plane of existence. There is something missing from her now. It's gone. My link to the Queen. She's abandoned me. Expelled me. Unworthy. There's still hope for you, Jessica. She bows her head and closes her eye, forcing a torrent of tears to cascade down her cheeks. I wish that were true, but there's no hope for me now. There's no hope for anyone. She opens her eyes, there is nothing but hopelessness within. There is a nest like this in every major city. There's no stopping them. Oh, God. And Sam. I'm so sorry, Sam. Uh oh. Jessica looks at you pleadingly. Please, Mags, don't let them. Don't let them eat me. Uh. Fuck it, come with me. You're going to be in a lot of shit. Bingo. Out of shadows. You emerge from the Universal Brotherhood chapter house, momentarily blinded by the bright lights of the Lone Star perimeter surrounding the exit. Despite the clean night air, the stench of ichor and decay clings to you, a smell that may never fully go away. You drop your Aegis-filled shotgun, and it's quickly spirit away by one of Telestrian's minions. Weapons are slowly lowered as you step out into the street, the order coming from Detective McCloskey himself. You can see James Telestrian ni just nearby pulling his strings. It's over. Jessica Watts has been dealt with, and Sam has had his justice. The dead, man dead man's deed is done. All you need now is to make a phone call, and it ends.
All right. I think we're done here. Speak to old James. And after we broke up for ritual, Max chased Jessica into a small chamber where she was cornered by a couple of buggers. Guess they weren't impressed with her performance. They were about to eat her. And... And Max said something like, I won't let them meet you, Jessica. You're coming with me. You're going to pay for what you've done. It was very dramatic. Then we splattered the bugs and headed over... Handed her over to UCAS FBI. They're going to want to have a long talk with her about the Universal Brotherhood. So this nest is cleared out and your cousin Lynn is being transported to a mental hospital for observation. James assesses you with new newfound respect. Very clean. I believe you... Our test project Aegis was a success, Max. Herr Brackhouse is having it weaponized now for distribution to night errant forces. The authorities are going to have a great deal many quest questions about this incident. And I will need to provide details. The Universal Brotherhood has a great many chapter houses and they must be dealt with immediately. What will happen next? That is for others to determine. People other than you. Still you have to turned into a yearman's effort. And regardless of your obvious flaws, you are deserving of a reward. What would you ask of me? Um, I hear you have an opening for a new VP of security. Telestrian's ice breaks for a moment. I do indeed, and I believe you have already undergone the required interview. Very well, Max. Report to work as Vice President of Telestrian Industries Corporation Security on Monday. Just wear something more appropriate. Good day. Sweet, we got a fucking job. Hey, Coyote. Guess that's it, huh? You captured Sam's killer and now he gets justice. There was a lot more involved than I expected. She looks back at the Universal Brotherhood. Just a little. Kaiti grins for the first time. Well, I'm gonna go grab Paco, head back to the Union, maybe watch Trid or something. Could use a long shower too after that. And then... Back to destroying B the BTL trade? Nah, like I said, that's over. I'm gonna take care of Gino, get him back to health, but no more storming BTL labs. Good to hear. The last place was run by the Yakuza. They're not going to forget you. Her jaw set, sets, her eyes harden, and she's coyote again. Let them come. If the Yakuza wants me, they're going to find me. Nothing I can do about it. Some people choose to live in fear, but not me. Not today. Today I run the shadows. Get paid, get dirty. See you around, Max. You're quite a guy. I can honestly say I've never met an elf quite like you before. Hey, Harley. The painted elf is watching the scene unfold around the Universal Brotherhood with a grimace. Well, kid, it's been fun, but I've seen everything I care to see today. I'm gonna get out of here. There a problem? He gestures at the crowd and speaks. Look around. No members of the press being shot away by Universal Brotherhood spokesperson to get private briefing. The Brotherhood is connected. A damaged control team is probably on the way right now. Think they can control the press? One way or another they will. If they can't be manipulated, coerced or bribed, they'll probably disappear. Quietly. There's more though. He nods his head towards James Telestrian. Note the expression on UCAS FBI agent speaking to Telestrian. Dismissive, isn't it? That's because there's no love lost between UCAS and Tertangir. They're not going to trust what he's telling them, and frankly I have no idea what he's telling them. James plays his own game. Always has. You trust him? No, just like I don't trust you. Don't take it personally, kid. You shouldn't trust me either. I've been manipulating runners like you for years. I'm manipulating you right now. You just don't know my game yet. Let's continue the dance. I have one more to show you. He points at someone in the crowd and smiles. The man sees him pointing and smiles back. That guy there? He's with uh, Ares Macro Technology. Enormous megacorp. Ridiculously powerful. They've been sniffing around Project A's just for quite a while now. Clearly there's an agenda that just started to unfold. He gives the Ares man the finger, the man smiles and returns the gesture. 
Government, media, business, all working to ensure the truth stays hidden. Not from me. No, not from you. You're a runner, that's the idea. But it's not the giant machination it appears to be. Anyway, it's worse. It's a series of conspiracies, conflicting agendas and petty jealousies. All building upon, feeding upon and exercising into an unending web of dreck that people wade through every day and call it life. If there was one Dark Lord controlling anything, then we could drive a magic sword through his heart to free the world, and that would be grand. Such clarity, such focus, alas. So what's the lesson in all this? I did it all for nothing. Just the opposite, schmuck. The lesson is this. The game is rigged. The cards are stacked. The dice are loaded. The same as it always has. Every cycle. People in power exert power. Little people carry in homes. Think what they're told to think, and buy whatever product that helps them forget how horrible their lives are for another day. And that's why we don't play the fragging games. We don't swallow the direct sandwich and politely ask for another. It's why we run the shadows. That's where real life is, kiddo. Reality's living in this place no one wants you to see. Where's Herr Brackhouse? I thought he'd be here too. Eh, he flew back to Berlin. All sorts of things brewing there. He was very impressed with you, though. Could probably turn into work someday, but I'd forget about him if I were you. Never make a deal with a dragon kid. We're playing a different game entirely. Finally, who the hell are you? A friend. Till I need you for something, then I'm a bastard. <laughs> See you around, Harley. Hey, shitface. McCuskey's alternate been trying to look important and trying to avoid actual work. What are you looking for at tube? Your shoe's untied. Trick him so you can cold clock him. Oh. McCluskey looks down at his shoes as he drives your knee into the bridges of his nose. He goes down with a thump. <laughs> See you, kid. Jake shakes his head, smirking as you approach. When you finally get close, he breaks out laughing. I heard the Universal Brotherhood was getting shot up on the police scanner. Knew it had to be you. Did you get her? She's in custody now. Ah, justice is served. He scratches his mop of red hair. I guess that concludes the story of Mags and the Dead Man's Switch, huh? You know, I've been thinking. Maybe you should stay in Seattle a while. There's plenty of ways folks up like us can get into trouble here. You only skim the service. I heard Machuma's looking for a team and they specifically want elves. No idea what that's about. And I got word of something going down at Crater Lake. The Terrors got it total lockdown. No flies own the whole thing. There could be something in it for us if we poke around. And there's always the Orc Underground. Haven't seen that yet, have you? I got plenty of friends here who are good for a job. Something's bound to come up. What do you say? I'll think about it, Jake. You do that. If you want to find me, I'll be at McCracken's later. Got a taste for some seafood. Take it easy, Chuck and Chummer. Ah, oh, Dresden. The little coroner is surprised to see you, but you can't hide his delight. Hey, Mags. I was wondering if I was going to see you again. I guess I shouldn't be surprised to see you here. Whenever there's mayhem, that's where you find me. I guess so. He pops his eyebrow eager. You know it's all over Trivid, right? They found the Emerald City Ripper dead at some asylum out in Shonomish of all places. Turns out he's been masquerading as the head administrator or something. They found him dead from some sort of vigilante attack. He leans in and whispers conspiratorially. You wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Why, Mr. Dresden, I have no idea what you mean. Dresden winks. That's what I thought. Well, no one can't say he didn't have it coming, am I right? He frowns at himself. That was a double negative. So, I have a big question. What about the dead man's switch? Now the Ripper's dead. You gonna collect? No, oh, I almost forgot about that. Forgot? Come on. How do you collect? I was told to give a secure line call to the number Sam gave me. Can't use my comm link. Hey, Brian's. Lone Star's emergency response team set up a secure phone link right there to coordinate their efforts. I can authorise you to use it. 
Thanks, Dresden. Don't mention it. Don't care, Max. Right, let's end this. The phone before you has a simple numerical keypad. You can use it to call Sam's law firm and cash in on a dead man's switch. Calling. You tap the phone number in Sam's lawyer gave you days ago. The phone rings seven times before someone finally answers. The image of a lawyer on front of the end of the video phone is noticeably different from the one you saw a few days ago. The noise in background sounds like it's coming from a bar. Yeah. He squints and phones and recognition appears on his face. Oh, hey, it's you. Max, right? So you got Sam's killer, right? Are you even a lawyer? Yeah, of course. Well, technically I'm not a lawyer anymore, but I, uh... I'll just slot Sam's video for you. Hang on. He fumbles for a moment and camera jerks crazily, then it goes static and is replaced by good old Sam. Sam looks like direct. Same clothes, same background, pretty shot at... Probably shot at the same time as the first video. Hey, buddy, looking good, looking good. He giggles. If you're calling that number, that means the job is done, right? He closes his eyes, shakes his head. Congratulations, amigo. I knew you'd do it. You're always dependable on. More than me, anyway. He looks back at you, trying to speak soberly. I just want to say thank you for whatever you did. It means a lot to me. Not even knowing what you did, it still means a lot to me. Because I know you did something. You know what I mean, right? I know you made it right, somehow. He pauses, tilts his head back, his he breath hitches in his chest. You're the only one, the only one who ever gave it, who ever tried to help me ever. Except my sister. She tried, more than once. She tried. Never let her, though. Never let her in. I regret that a lot. Did I ever tell you about her, buddy? We're twins. We're twins, I guess. You're still a twin after one of you die. I don't know. Doesn't matter, I guess. He sighs, heavy. God, listen, do me a favour, will you? If you talk to her, her name is Jessica. Tell her I'm sorry, okay? For everything. She'll know what for. She's a Catholic, so she'll forgive me. I need her to forgive me. Just tell her I love her. He straightens himself, shakes off, and grin. his grin is back. Anyway, you need to get paid, which would be great, except for one thing. I got nothing. Never did. You know it is how it is, right? Sorry, but hey, thanks for giving a crap. Seriously, I appreciate it. Tell you what, if you feel a bit sore about it, look into my family background a bit. There's going to be with s some money in there somewhere. Maybe one of them can throw you a few bucks. Take care, amigo. See you in hell. He reaches forward, shuts off the camera, the vid screen goes into static and the call ends. There's a moment of silence, then you feel a tug on your jacket. It's Dresden. So, what did he say? He just said thank you. Fuck! No money for us. <clears throat> the Emerald City killings are sensationalised for several weeks. Lurid reports focus on the killer masquerading as the administrator of Mercy Hospital. Soon after, Ma pop singer Maria Mercurial is cast the lead in Dr. Ripper, a trivid thriller about a reporter who goes undercover as a mental patient to undercover a serial killer. Seattle Newsnet reports a shootout at Chapter House of Universal Brotherhood. Witnesses claim that a gang of religious fanatics stormed the building for unknown reasons, but committed suicide before they could be captured. All mention of insect spirits, James Telestrian and third shadow runners are kept out of the news. One year later, the city of Chicago declares a quarantine zone between Lake Michigan and De Plain River. Officially, the Chicago Trent Containment Zone is established to fight an outbreak of an, infe outbreak of an infectious virus. But an infectious infestation of insect spirits is suspected by those in the know. A mature form of Project Agents, Aegis called FABS-3 is eventually developed to remove a bug threat from Chicago. For what's name has since been lost to the shadows. Well, fuck. Excellent. That was a brilliant little game. Oh, I do hope you enjoyed that, people. Uh, woo! This guy, the guy who made it, have her own schemes, worked on Mech Warrior and Crimson Skies. And fucking brilliant games. Oh, well, that's the end of Shadow on Returns. I do hope you enjoyed that, folks. Another game off the uh, old list. And join us next time where we will be. Uh, Doing Shadowrun Dragonfall. I haven't actually played that one all the way through yet, so it'll be a bit of a mystery for me too. Right. 
Not sure what else to say. Oh yes, that was it. I forgot about that. Um, if you have any ideas of what sort of character you want me to give a go or play as in Dragonfall, please do send me a message and I'll see what I can dig up. But for now, tatty bye.